So Heyman goes out for a promo. This is one time where I actually hope I do give them an idea, because I'd like to see that. <laughs> so Heyman cuts... It's just a... It, 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 it's his delivery... Is an A plus 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 Pro Bowl. Let's get that out of the way first thing. Mm -hmm. Paul Heyman with a microphone is awesome. I know there's breaking news here. Twenty years, like to the month after this was cut, but uh, yes, it was great. The content is he is burying Vince McMahon for being a ruthless businessman, businessman, and a liar, and a uh, idea thief. He stole intellectual property. He ran all the other territories out of business. Well, what happens, Vinny, is yeah. it's very, very good to do a, a passionate promo mm -hmm. when A, you are Paul Heyman, yes. and B, you are telling no lies. Also mm -hmm. true, yes. It's, a, it's incredible because he comes out and he says, Vince is, think about this. This is in 2001, not 2021. It's in 2001. He says, Vince is nuts. He's lost his touch. He has been producing nothing but horrible television. He says the WWF sucks, and the fans start to boo, and he says, Why are you booing? Have you watched this show? Felt like I was doing the Raw Report on Observer Live. He says Vince McMahon has the same chances of saving the WWF as he did of realizing his dream of starting a football league. Burn. That was Bro. the line. He could have said that same thing this year about last year. Yes. Vince storms down to the ring. And now, for the rest of this promo, Vince is standing in the ring looking at Paul Heyman as Paul Heyman just unleashes years of anger and frustration on Vince. And Vince not only doesn't say a word, but he barely reacts. And I thought Vince was actually pretty much also fantastic in this segment because he just stood there and didn't react to anything. Every now and then there would be a very, very slight like eyebrow lift when when Heyman would say something. But other than that, like he didn't he didn't he wasn't angry. He wasn't smiling in a diabolical manner. He was just looking at this guy like he was like a, a psychiatrist and allowing him to just spill all of his frustrations onto Vince McMahon. Paul says, I hate your stinking guts. You're the most disgusting, vile son of a bitch I've ever seen in my life. And that was one where Vince's eyebrows were kind of like, eh, that's not too bad. And he says, Vince took Hulk Hogan's blood and built Titan Towers. He stole Bret Hart's dream and bought a giant airplane. He stole Shawn Michaels' smile and then took his company public and made himself a billionaire he said your father vince your father he shook the hands of every promoter in the united states and he said i will never compete against you my family will never compete against you but then when he died the first thing you did vince was you put every single one of these promoters out of business he says i don't care about paul bosch i don't care about jim crockett jr I care about myself and my family. You stole my dreams, my legacy, everything that myself and ECW represented. And he talks about how Vince had stolen everything from everybody else to become a billionaire. And he says, you know who you stole the most from? You stole the most from me. Attitude, Aries. He's disgusted at the term attitude. He says, screw you and your family. Then he points at Taz. He says, you see that man right there, Taz? That man right there was a machine. He was a killer. He was a wrestler. Look what you've done to this guy. Now he's a fat little obnoxious color commentator, and he's not even a good one. That was a mistake. So he's ranting and raving, and Taz slowly takes off his sunglasses, and he gets up out of his announcer's table, or his announcer's chair, and he slowly makes his way to the ring, and Paul's still ranting and spitting fire, and Taz sneaks up behind him, and he chokes out Paul Heyman, and Paul's lying in a heap on the mat, and Vince just grabs the mic and says, Paul Heyman, you are the epitome of this alliance. This Sunday at Survivor Series, the alliance will choke. 
He walks out of the ring. And quite frankly, for a rebuttal, that was a shitty rebuttal by Vince McMahon. But my God, this Paul Heyman promo. I couldn't even come close to doing this thing justice. No. Go watch it. And it was astounding in 2001. It's even more astounding today. I don't know if you guys know this, but I've got like 50 people emailing me that YouTube video of uh, Brian Alvarez printed AEW in 2011. It's like going all over the internet again. Man, I mean, I listened to it, and uh, I wish I could have just got to the fucking point faster. But anyway, if you were impressed by that one, that's nothing compared to this Paul Heyman promo when he's cutting a promo on Vince McMahon 20 years ago. It is uncanny how similar that promo should be to a promo you cut on Vince McMahon today. That was one for the ages. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, it still applies because everything he says was true, and he knew it was true, and I'm pretty sure Vince knew most of it was true, and then Vince hasn't changed for two decades. No, nothing has changed. If anything, he's leaned into it. (laughs) Oh, yes. So as great as the delivery was, I was a little depressed because it, it entertained those of us who know what he was talking about, know their history. It didn't actually affect the business at all. It didn't change the business at all. In fact... The people in the crowd had no idea who Don Owen or Sam Muchnick were. They had no idea for most of it what he was talking about. This was a WWF crowd that came to see a WWF show and cheer for the WWF and their owner, Vincent Mann. And it was a babyface promo cut by a heel character. They didn't want to see Vince's personal flaws exposed. They wanted to cheer for him. And the only thing they really cheered for in the end was when Taz got the ring and choked him. And that's all, that's all they really wanted. And Vince's... Uh, as you called it, a rebuttal at the end. And it wasn't a rebuttal because I don't think Vince disagreed with anything. <laughs> he just was a, he's well aware he's an evil billionaire who put a bunch of people out of business and flaunts his affairs in front of his family. These are all facts. So what's to get upset about? <laughs> but yes, as a promo, it's golden. Your uh, biggest fan says Vinny's Intangibles. <laughs> <laughs> this should be good. Vinny's Intangibles is that his is intelligent, inspirational, and great will. Brian's intangibles are Lord. he is a whining, comma, anger, comma, and his genetically jackhammer. Not everyone's a gifted essayist, gifted linguist. We all have our strengths. We're not all wordsmiths out there. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.